Hi, I'm Siddharth. I'm the founder of Silver Stripe Software. Uh, my company, we build tools for project management visualization. And one of the things that we need in our tool is very rich interactions and a lot of JavaScript. So we have a lot of drag and drop, we have a lot of inline edits, a lot of Ajax. And building this kind of stuff, we basically have to use a lot of JavaScript into our code. So basically we are uh, we use a lot of Web 2.0 technologies. Um, we do lots of JavaScript and uh, one of the things that we wanted to implement, we recently implemented is um, a real-time uh, uh, logic in our system. So we wanted a situation where we could use uh, I mean, we could uh, one user could like produce an action in this uh, browser, which could be reflected across many users who are like logged in simultaneously. So um, this was one of the features that a lot of our clients were like asking for, and we initially thought it was actually a little hard to implement. But uh, as it turned out, it was yeah, it was probably hard, but uh, it was much more fun uh, implementing it. So uh, we are going to be talking about how we ended up implementing real, real time and what our strategy was, how our approach was towards implementing this uh, during the JS Food Talk. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so one of the things if you go online and read about real time and JavaScript is that a lot of material you see on the internet is highly simplified. When you actually implement it in the real world, there are a lot of things uh, which you need to take care of, like for example proxy servers, or your JavaScript front-end architecture, there are a lot of critical parts which we found out which we didn't realize when we were actually starting out on implementing this feature. It's, it's actually like a joke because uh, most of the frameworks out there which uh, are like, say they are really simple and uh, they have a chat demo, uh, a demo chat application yeah. which you like implement it and you say, hey this is cool, this like solves my problem. Uh, you go start implementing it and then you start burning your hands. Uh, you you have to like make one compromise after the other. You have to figure out how you're going to uh, create an architecture that will like actually scale at the same time. Uh, you, you know, do a lot of things and uh, you're stuck there. Uh, you're breaking your head uh, uh, with half implemented code. So uh, our talk is basically going to be uh, based on like, our experience uh, on how we actually managed to roll it from you know a sandbox to the production stage when we have like a thousand users using it. Uh, that's uh, okay. so when we saw JS Foo was coming to Chennai. I remember when JS Foo was happening in Bangalore, and we were looking at the topics and saying, "I wish this thing came to Chennai." So when we found that it's actually coming here, if you go through the proposals, we kind of jumped on it, and this was the first proposal in the whole list because we wanted to make sure that a lot of people come and talk about these things because when you actually implement it. Uh, you run into a lot of these weird cases and this talk is going to be how to do real time with JavaScript in real world conditions yeah, so and in production. We, we'll try not to disappoint you, we'll show bits and pieces of code. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, we'll try to get it, uh, we can't get into like much detail but uh, we'll try to do justice to the topic and uh, so if you're going to be interested in things like WebSocket and uh, things like having an MVC framework which like make your real-time implementation much more simpler and uh, we'll basically be talking about other frameworks as well and strategies for implementing real-time and like browsers which do not support in real-time. So uh, if these are the things that interest you then you should probably be here. Yeah. So I'll see you there at JS2. Bye-bye.